Friends, I have another breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas today. Tesla plans to build cathode building at Texas Giga Factory and today applied for permit. Reuters report that Tesla on Wednesday applied for a permit to extend its existing Austin-based uh, car factory, Giga Texas, with a building to produce cathodes for battery manufacturing, according to City Filings and a spokeswoman. Please continue listening because I'm going to tell you what Reuters doesn't tell and uh, what we know from our, our sources. So an application submitted today on Wednesday for an Austin building permit under the program named Cathode listed the Colorado River Project LLC as a co-applicant. This is the name Tesla has used throughout the permitting process for its new Texas factory on the state and local levels and I've reported about this before. I can confirm that this is for the Tesla project and this permit is for a cathode building. A spokeswoman for the city's development service department said on Thursday, adding that the city did not have further information. Now, news site Electric first reported on the filing on Thursday. The new building would extend Tesla's existing vehicle factory located on the eastern outskirts of Austin, Giga, Texas, near the airport. According to the city filing, it would have the size of nearly 1.6 million square feet. The electric car maker Tesla began manufacturing vehicles at the Giga Texas factory, Giga factory on the eastern outskirts of Austin earlier this year. Chief executive officer of Tesla Elon Musk in September said Tesla plans to build a cathode facility as part of its battery cell production plan. As I reported yesterday, Tesla wants to have as much control over its supplies, especially battery supply, as possible. If you haven't heard that, please look at my my yesterday's report on Tesla's 4680 uh, fact, uh, production. The Texas Commission on Environment Quality on January 20th approved Tesla's vehicle manufacturing site. The car maker still has several other permits, I think the applic certification, pending with the commission, which needed to provide air quality permits for polluting manufacturing sites. In 2020 filings with the commission, Tesla said its emission sources for battery cell production would include anode and cathode mixing dust. Cathodes are the single most expensive component of a battery and producing them requires lots of space and emits large quantities of CO2 emissions. As I've reported before, you know, battery production does uh, emit lots of CO2, that does make lots of CO2 emissions. Now, our friend Joe Techtmeyer, who regularly chronicles and documents updates from Tesla Documents Giga Texas production, uh, commented on Twitter saying, I am glad to see the mainstream media finally picking up on this. And he reminds us that, he says, I have a few videos documenting this throughout 2021 with some construction documentations and location. And as I promised before in the beginning of this report, Joe says the story from Reuters doesn't tell you that the general contractor for this project is Austin Commercial. They are one of the three main general contractors who have been working with Tesla on Giga Texas. So friends, this is very exciting. Tesla, like I said, today applied for a permit to extend its existing Giga Texas factory with a building to produce cathodes for its 4680 battery manufacturing, according to city filings. And a spokesman said, I can confirm that this is for the Tesla project. What do you think about this? Are you excited? Lots of interesting news coming from Tesla about Tesla. This is Armin Harayan from TalkNews.com. If you like this news, please give us thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to our channel because I'm going to bring you the latest on this as we have new, more information. And as you can see from our channel, we bring about four, three to five breaking Tesla news every day. Have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next story. Tesla Motors Instagram today shared this breaking video from Giga Berlin Factory's paint shop showing how Giga Berlin paints its test Model Y vehicles and it applies coating. After dipping the car 
are in a cleaning bath, we electrically apply a coating to prevent corrosion when on the road. Reads the message apparently by Tesla, quoted by GF4 Tesla Twitter blogger who regularly documents Tesla Giga Berlin's progress with daily updates. So take a look at this video, friends. What do you think? I think it's very interesting. Maybe nothing special because all the companies do it this way, but we know that Elon Musk has said that Giga Berlin is going to have one of the world's most advanced paint shops in the world in the automotive industry. So I've been reading some comments. People say that Giga Shanghai is pretty good also, and this is going to be even be better than Giga Shanghai. And that Elon Musk also has said that once Giga Berlin is up and running, the paint shop's new technologies will be applied to other new Giga factories that Tesla builds and also Fremont and of course uh, Tesla Giga Texas. Now, when you watch this video, is it fair to conclude that it's clear from the video that automatic car washes are perfectly fine as long as they are fully, uh, they are full immersion? Um, what do you think? So now Tesla Giga Berlin really nears the start of the full production once it receives the final permit from the relevant German agency. In the meantime, about 20 days ago, if you remember, I reported it, German State Environment Agency issued another early permit to Tesla, allowing the EV manufacturer to produce 2,000 Model Y test vehicles at Giga Berlin Giga Factory. According to Frau Zeit, the spokesperson for the Brandenburg Ministry of the Environment, Tesla requested to manufacture more Model Y test vehicles at Giga Berlin. The State Environment Agency previously approved test production of 250 Model Y bodies while Tesla waits for Giga Berlin's final approval. Tesla requested an advanced approval because the quality and manufacturing efficiencies required for system and unit acceptance in relation to the operating unit mentioned have not been achieved. Tesla noted that the parts and bodies that have been manufactured at Giga Berlin thus far differed considerably from system specification. The agency's 12-page approval allowing Tesla Giga Berlin to manufacture 250 Model Y bodies included an addendum. The addendum states Tesla is now de facto able to produce pre-series. Tesla is permitted to manufacture 500 bodies per week with a maximum of 2,000 bodies in total. So let me know, friends, what do you think about this development? What do you think about um, this new Instagram video from Giga Berlin's factory paint shop showing how Tesla paints its test Model Y vehicles and it applies coding. Uh, anything special that you notice or just standard in the automotive industry? Also, when do you think the first Model Y vehicles will roll off the assembly line? Today, also in our YouTube's community page, I posted a, um, a, a question asking our community members, when do you think, uh, actually, uh, which of these two giga factories you think will first start deliver production mass production and deliveries giga texas or giga berlin giga texas started several months later than giga berlin in terms of construction but it seems that giga texas is now more advanced and closer to the final approval although giga texas is also waiting for final certification than giga berlin but um who knows maybe giga berlin's uh, final approval will come tomorrow or next day so we'll wait and See. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, friends, for daily breaking Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and share in social media. Give us thumbs up, like this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll look forward to reading your uh, opinion and comments in the comment section below. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone, and your families. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.